Hey. Yeah. Do you have a favorite cookie? What is your favorite cookie? Because essential oils are like cookies. Now, oh my gosh. I really mean that. Think about this. We have chocolate chip cookies, peanut butter cookies, oatmeal cookies, maybe lemon cookies, um, sh sugar cookies. We have all kinds of cookies. And the reason why I say they're like essential oils or essential oils are like cookies is because no matter what, when you start looking at all of the different types of cookies, there are similar ingredients, right? Like we have flour, sugar, butter, eggs. And when we look at essential oils, we have the most common compound in an essential oil is pinene, alpha and beta pinene. The next one is limonene. And then depending on like eucalyptus has what's known as 1-8-C-N-All, also known as eucalyptol because it was first distinguished in eucalyptus, just like pinene was first distinguished in pine trees but it's found predominantly in almost every single oil that you can purchase. Not all of them have pinene in them, yet there, there might be a small trace of it depending on where it grows. And so this is what I speak about when it comes to, well, number one, before I go into that, let me ask you this question. Do you like all of those cookies? Do you like oatmeal, peanut butter, sugar, um, possibly? you have a gluten intolerance. So you possibly have issues with sugar. Now this is not a nutritional, <laughs> this is not a nutritional post. So we don't need to go into that. But what I wanted to say is if you have gluten sensitivity, um, or if you were like me, at one point in my life, I had high sugar sensitivity. I don't have that any longer. And, um, but the bottom line is sometimes we have sensitivities to these various ingredients, right? This is the reason why not every cookie um, appeals to everyone. This is why maybe you have, um, a, you can't eat peanuts. Maybe you have a really serious peanut allergy, so peanut butter cookies are eh, not gonna happen. The reason this is important is we can say the same thing about essential oils. We recognize pinene as having a very strong influence on the autonomic nervous system. However, because of limonene being predominantly found in most, it's actually found in 211 oils. Limonene is recognized for beyond its, you know, its benefits that science has looked at. It is a, it creates synergy within the compounds. So it's kind of like eggs. It kind of brings things together and it enhances the synergy of the variety of chemicals. So although we recognize pinene as having a very strong, again, influence on the autonomic nervous system, depending on what else is in that oil is going to affect your system in a unique way. This is the same thing as for cookies. If you have a gluten intolerance or a gluten sensitivity, you are not going to be able to eat cookies with gluten in them. You're going to have to have a cookie, if you want a cookie, that doesn't have flour or gluten flour, right? So, or if you have a sugar problem like I did, you're going to want to eat something that's sugar-free or has a sugar alternative to it. So we have to understand what's in our oils just like you need to understand what's in your cookies or other foods. So I just wanted to bring that up today because I think it was a really, it just occurred to me like, well, that's just really quite interesting because, you know, I'm not a fan of peanut butter cookies. Um, I do like oatmeal cookies when they have walnuts in them, but there again, I, oils have pinene, oils have limonene. Believe it or not, pinene and limonene are actually found in cannabis. So it's widely found throughout nature. However, it's the way they work with the rest of the compounds that determine the distinct properties of that oil. And also it depends on where they were grown, but we'll get there some at some other point. But for right now, I thought I would share that with you because what's in that oil is going to have a very distinct effect on you. And if you take medications, it's increasingly important to know what oil you're actually selecting for your system. I know I've talked about before, knowing what's in your bottle, that is important. But more importantly, what does your system uniquely need? How is it going to respond? And the only way to get to that determination is going to be by 
doing a full assessment of your system. Now, that said, I am doing a Q&A on here tomorrow live, so if you'd like to join me, if you have questions and are unable to attend, it starts 4.30 Eastern. If you're not able to make it, you're always welcome to submit um, questions to me, and I'm happy to answer them during that talk. Um, you're also welcome to get on a call with me and see if what I'm talking about is actually a fit for you. So I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are. Enjoy the cookie, and I will see you soon.